Good afternoon all. Um, I fitted four components to my PWM5 Femto board. They are the regulator, the HT7550, a couple of tantalum capacitors, and on the other side, a little dual diode. Now I'm not going to go any further just for the moment, because what I want to do is test this regulator because it's a new regulator. Previously I was using a different type and this one may have different uh, performance characteristics. But um, today's video is about fitting these components and I used a new technique. So shall we have a look at some video of me fitting these components uh, earlier today? Yeah, let's do that. So these are the components that I'm going to put on the PCB. Um, we've got the LDO voltage regulator, this one the Holtec HT7550, uh, 5 volt regulator SOT89 package. It sits there on the corner of the board. And we've got two capacitors, tantalum capacitors. Um, on the input side, we've got the lower value one, 105, one microfarad. Um, I think that was 25 volts, that's that one there. And on the output side, I've got the higher capacitance um, one, which is uh, 4.7 microfarads. That's lower voltage, I think it's 16 volts. Can I get that to sit the right way around? Yes, I can. One thing I've noticed about these is that they're way smaller. I'll zoom in a bit, actually. Yeah, these capacitors are way smaller than their silkscreen outlines. This was the, was it the 3216 outline? I mean, look how big it is compared with the actual component. These were supposed to be equivalent to the 1206 uh, components, but I mean, that thing is dwarfed by the size of its silkscreen outline. It'd probably be a help when soldering it on. But uh, yeah, it's tiny compared to um, what I thought these components were going to be. So these capacitors are in effect um, axial. You can just about see that the lead comes out of the um, end of the package. It then runs down the side of the end of the package. In fact, it comes out as two um, metallic leads and then they join as one. And then it's wrapped under the body of the capacitor so underneath you've got a couple of sort of feet now that should help me because when I solder it onto the board I'm not going to be able to actually apply solder underneath the capacitor on the surface of the board this isn't going to focus is it so what I'm going to end up with is a little fillet of solder um, at the end of the device just sitting on that uh, the end of that pad a, a sort of um, concave curve fillet attaching the device not underneath but at both ends so i want to try gluing uh, the regulator in place first before i solder it so let's put some of this uv cured glue on here oh that's just a big bubble that's probably enough i didn't want to use a huge amount it kind of gets everywhere and it's all a bit sticky and yucky I don't, know, don't have the proper cap for it. Oh, when's it going to stop running? So let's put it there. That's kind of all got a bit covered in glue. But the nice thing about this glue is that you can very quickly cure it with the ultraviolet light. Right, let's try sticking the regulator on the board. Um, now I've got to think about glue getting, where are my tweezers, getting between uh, the back of the regulator, which has this uh, large thermal pad area and the pad on the PCB, which is in this bottom corner. Um, it doesn't really matter because this regulator is not going to get hot, so I don't need any thermal connection between it and the board. But it would be nice to just solder the tab down as a sort of mechanical anchorage. But essentially this regulator is going to work by soldering um, its three pins, which are there. Right, the regulator is in position. Um, I've checked it with a magnifying glass. Now, is it going to move? If I apply some of this glue, what if, no, I probably don't want that much, um, to the edge of it. Yes, it moved. Oh, this is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Right, well, there's some glue there now. Can I now maneuver the regulator back into position and have it meet with the glue? but um, still be able to maneuver it about. Now, if I maneuver it from that side, of course, I'm going to get glue on my 
tweezers so let's maneuver it with the cocktail stick I can't see it very well so I'm gonna to have to have a bit of a close-up inspection right I'm quite happy with its position on the board now so I'm gonna see if I can uh, stick it down with my UV torch let's shine UV light on that edge there is only glue on that right hand edge so I'll give it five or ten seconds for the glue to cure and then see whether that's um, fully stuck onto the board in such a way that it won't fall off and then I can solder it without it flipping up and doing all that annoying surface mount type behavior um, that should probably be enough let's try it yeah that's glued on there nicely let's use the dry end of the cocktail stick um, I can't push that off that's uh, absolutely glued into position is it um, accurately placed for ready for soldering let's have a look um, well that's not bad I'm quite happy with that it's a little bit rotated the tab isn't quite uh, aligned with the tab thing but yeah I'm quite happy with that and then that should just sit there while I solder the legs and the tab and I won't have any of those um, problems of it moving around while I solder it I'm thinking I quite like this glue technique right let's try soldering tiniest amount of solder on here I want Yeah, that looks pretty good center leg that seems to go on the leg but not the pad left leg which is nearest to the glue that seems to have gone on all right we'll have a close-up look at this uh, in a moment let's now try and solder the tab yeah that seems to have soldered pretty nicely let's have a look at that um, well certainly I think you could say that that's too much solder rather than too little but I don't think it's uh, excessively too much yeah I'm quite happy with that you can also see the glue fillet there on the side of the device that was holding it down while I soldered it yeah I quite like that I think that's pretty good okay now for the capacitors I'm not sure quite how to glue those though so I'm thinking on this one that I might apply if I can do it without getting glue everywhere um, a tiny dot of glue between the pads so let's try that tiny dot of glue between the pads uh, mm, it's about the size I want I suppose let's get that in the light so we can see it yeah glue the component down and then attempt to solder it let's give that a try right let's use the UV torch on that I have to come in from both sides because the glue is actually underneath the component so let's do five seconds on that side five seconds on that side hoping the light bounces sort of under the board and under the capacitor a little bit more on either side maybe try not to look at the actual torch i'm trying to look through the screen of my phone so i don't bathe my retina in uv light but that should um set the glue off and then that component should be anchored down on the board ready to solder let's try that and uh, yeah that looks pretty good I can't knock that off that's definitely stuck down hope I've put the right component in the right place I'm pretty sure I have that's on the input which I believe is the tab let's have a quick look at that actually it's the input the tab yeah V in is the center pin so that's the tab that's good let's get soldering right i'm doing the easy end first the end that i can uh, get to most easily so let's get some solder on that pad oh yeah that looks like quite a nice little fillet let's have a closer look at that yeah i think that's pretty good and the component's still glued in place so i can quite easily get to uh, the other end but yeah I'm quite happy with that right let's solder the other end that one's slightly more difficult to get to no oh, I can't get my iron behind the camera right let's just try putting a little foot in there it's not hot enough that actually I think worked quite well <laughs> like that let's try it yes i think that's fine actually i quite 
slightly more solder on the positive side of the capacitor than the negative but then I am doing this by hand so you'd expect it to be not entirely perfect but I think that's good enough let's get the other capacitor on so that's been positioned as accurately as I can go I can't quite get the UV in at the angle I did before on this side but do my best to get that one anchored down the lovely thing about this UV glue is that it's liquid constantly and it doesn't set until you get the UV on it and then it sets very quickly so you can actually work quite efficiently and I'm not saying that gluing every individual component down and then soldering it is efficient but well it makes it neat now you can see that um, on the left capacitor it didn't actually fill the gap between the two legs as they emerge from the capacitor but it's possible that on that one the gap's bigger I don't know but you can see that the solder profile just looks different on the uh, 4.7 microfarad on the left than it does on the one microfarad on the right also that one didn't seem to glue down quite as well so I think the glue technique works fine if you can glue to the side like on that regulator but attempting to glue underneath and then set that glue off with UV I'm just not sure you can get enough UV light under the component to um, set the glue off but uh, anyway I'm quite happy that those are both anchored down so that's the regulator and the input capacitor 1 microfarad the output capacitor 4.7 microfarads now in order that I can uh, get power into this thing I just need to put in this diode which is in the bore 56 pa package it's a SOT23 dual diode so that I can uh, put 12 volts on VBAT and power up this voltage regulator. So let's get the bore 56 on the PCB. Right, it goes in this position here. It's not anchored down yet, um, but it takes the feed from uh, MOSFET source pin that runs through there into the input um, of the two diodes. That's the common pin, pin three. Uh, the output of one of the diodes comes out, goes through that via, and that goes through to the other side. To the regulator so i need to put a little drop of glue on the side of this probably not on the other side because then that will interfere with the other dual diode position this trigger the glue with uv solder the component so the difficulty with this idea of using glue to anchor the component before you solder it is that you've got to be careful not to contaminate um, the pad with glue otherwise you're going to have difficulty soldering it now you can see that bottom uh, leg doesn't look like it's particularly well soldered I can't get any any closer than that uh, the other two are fine but that one doesn't look very good and that's where I put the glue and it's possible glue got on the uh, pad and contaminated it I'm hoping that will be uh, soldered enough for this thing to work and there's only one way to find out I guess and so this is now ready for me to test this regulator I'm just going to um, sort of inject 12 volts or slightly more than that from my uh, battery system onto this board via these through hole um, pads and then measure the 5 volts I'll probably measure it from these two pins here which is the 100 nanofarad capacitor across the power pins of the microcontroller um, but I'll leave that for another video cheerio